Ancient woodland is one of the most important habitats that we have in the UK. The Lost Woods Project is working with owners of small ancient woodlands to help to bring those ancient woodlands back into better management where that's lapsed over time and also to reconnect those woodlands across the landscape with other habitat. As a landowner, the owner of these ancient woodlands, you will benefit from direct support and input from us. We will come out, we will give you advice on your woodland, we will help you get a management plan going, and we will then actually help you get that work underway as well. So we will help fund that, we will help arrange the contractors to come out, or the volunteers, whoever it may be that, that is needed to get your woodland managed. I'm quite obstinate and I tend to struggle away with things, but seeing the effects of a trained workforce uh, and how quickly and effectively that brought on a change to the wood. Where we were standing here, um, behind me and all round this clearing, uh, would have been 30 foot high laurel trees, evergreen, dense, dark green, the main difference you would feel if you'd seen it before and after would be the amount of light that is now available for the native species. The benefits that the woodland owner will see is the diversification in the habitat. So there'll be more site flora species, there'll be more insects, there'll be more birds, there'll be more mammals. And they'll just be able to see what an ancient woodland should look like. Our woodland management training will cover traditional approaches to uh, coppice management and restoration. It will also in include things like pest management and practical skills such as hedge laying and uh, chainsaw use. Uh, and all of our training will have a focus on managing woodland in a way that enhances biodiversity. I am really grateful for the input that we've had from the Woodland Trust and the information that they've shared with us. So the plans for the future are some more thinning, um, we're looking into what we may or may not bring into the woods to increase diversity, how involved we want to be, or whether we're just going to let things regenerate naturally. I'd like very much to, to think it'd be possible to encourage things like dormice and nightingales into the wood if we engage in the sort of management practices that would encourage their kind of environment, so low scrubby growth for the nightingales, which would similarly with, with fruiting trees for the, the dormice. So that those would be my two you know real wishes in the future.